Hi, I'm Mike Allen. A friend of mine's called me out to Whittier, California today to take a look at his house. He says he has what he thinks is a termite problem on the north side. The north side is very common for termites to erupt. The reason being, there's a lot of shade on that side of the house and it creates a nice greenhouse effect in the soil over here. As you can see, there's no sun reaching these spots. So let's go take a look underneath the house, exactly where we're seeing uh, the evidence from inside and see what we see. Okay, here we see that we have stucco finish all the way up and it comes down to this point. Now where the stucco ends to the foundation wall, this is a very vulnerable and ac easy access point for subterranean termites to come in and up and behind and eat on this wall without it even being seen. There's a sprinkler right here as you can see as well, so it's providing nice moisture uh, easy access behind and it's nice and shaded here. So this is the corner of exactly where we're supposed to be seeing the problem. Let's go underneath the house now and take a look. Alright, we're going to go underneath this one. You can see it's got an opening here. We're not going to have to belly crawl it. It is on a hillside. It's plenty of room. On a concrete foundation with a wall construction. Let's take a look at it. All right, right here we got an obvious uh, sign. It's coming right up. Uh, looks like they rebuilt. Looks like it's been treated once before. Looks like there was a stake in the ground here at one point. There's some wood right up next to it. Appears to be empty. But right here's the tavern where they're coming up at. This is all pheromones. Uh, they use this actually as for departing uh, for, their, for the swarming activity. You can see there's a crack in the foundation here. These are normally easy access points for them. Let's look on the other side of this wall and see what we see. All right, a lot of uh, times underneath houses, there's tree roots left from the uh, building process. And you can see that this tree root uh, was not stumped down. And even if it was, the lingering parts underneath it uh, would still exist. And that's uh, what termites are naturally doing, uh, part of the ecosystem. So a lot of times underneath houses, tree roots are left like this and they're just you know, ample feeding grounds for subterranean termites. You got no sun in here, stays nice and humid and damp, close to drain pipes, it's ideal. Alright, we found the problem. This is that wall directly against, as you can see, this is what we call cellulose debris. It's just cellulose, it's wood scraps from the building process. They let them lay down here and so they're making direct contact and touch with the ground. And these are, uh, this is our migratory tunnels. Looks like we found, uh, looks like New York here. So I'm on top of them here. You can see all these little migratory tunnels they've made and they just stand straight up out of the ground. They're all held together by Saliva, fecal matter, pheromones, and uh, I got a smash on those to get on top of this much bigger section. We're going to see if there's anything alive in here. And just crumble right down. There's wings everywhere on top of this where the reproductives came out. see anything alive on this board. So what we need to do is we need to get a treatment done on this wall all the way around this. We need to get this soil taken care of. It looks like they might have a small leak uh, that comes down from time to time and that might be what's cause an ample moisture here for this to keep going on and flourish. But it's a pretty amazing display of what they can do. And this is uh, this is only 
small bit of work what they do underneath the ground here is where the real colony and the queen and everything is these are just uh, these are exit ports for the winged reproductives to come out and you know, what they're going to do is look for lighted areas and you can see on this board there's wings I don't know what detail you can see in that camera there's wings on this board found this and this is exactly where he's seeing them come in the house you can see there's block wall construction here so we're gonna have to not only treat the trenches uh, around this spot we're gonna have to puncture into this wall there's a nice big fat display up here um, coming right out of the joint and the cinder crack so let's take a look at the rest of the house and see what we see any other signs this is very obvious here All right, so we're going to report back to my friend that we found exactly the termite spot. Uh, we found exactly what was going on and what was causing the problem. So we're going to uh, ask him and see if he wants to try to take care of this problem without poison and see uh, what our results are. We'll monitor and check what they are over the next couple of days uh, to a year. And we'll see exactly what's going on in those same spots. Thanks for joining me, guys.